Hey travelers, welcome to Trippin' with Amadi. If you're new to my channel, I revisit some of my fun and exciting times during my travel while I help you out on yours. And y'all, I have an idea. Well, I have multiple ideas, but as I am freezing in the snow on my way to God knows where, I want to be warm and also something very exciting is happening. I am turning 30. So I decided not only one to make sure that I go to a very, very warm place for my 30th as I'm frolicking in the snow, but also I want to take you along on the journey of me planning, finding, budgeting, all the things that I normally do for a trip. But this is not just a regular trip, it is my 30th. I'm caught in between three places, Spain, Australia, and Tanzania. So the first thing that I'm planning on doing is planning early and planning ahead. Hence these videos, hence this conversation. One of the things I had to put in perspective is like, okay, if I'm planning a big trip for my 30th as well as a high possibility that my friends will want to do something for their 30th as well around the same kind of around the same time, like a month apart, I have to save my coins and I also have to acknowledge that my trip to Puerto Rico that I placed in my head because that's where a lot of my trips end up in land might not be a possibility between my trip to Jamaica, which has been by the time you see this video, at the end of January, beginning of February, as well as my June, late possibly May trip for my birthday. So me planning ahead, I'm like, all right, Puerto Rico gotta be, you know, put on ice for a little bit. I'm gonna come back to you, Puerto Rico. So that's the first thing, is me planning ahead. The next thing is me setting my budget. Now, I've had conversations about to myself about what my budget tends to be. So just naturally, my budget tends to be like 1500 between like 1300 so that is normally the budget that I keep and normally the budget um, that tends to happen so that is going to be my budget the next thing is for me to make sure that I am actually saving that money so on a basic regular year I travel internationally three times a year so 1500 times three we can put that math in the corner somewhere. That means that I am taking a certain amount of money out of my paycheck every two weeks and putting it in a savings account. So the little sprinkle, the trick to that is putting it in a high yield savings account. Now I'll just put up like some information on like why high yield savings accounts are important and why that's better than just a generic savings account from my information and my understanding it's connected to a higher interest so you're getting more interest back on the money that you're actually saving um, and that's why you want to put like important savings in high yield savings accounts so i have my savings for my future apartment because one day i will not be here in a high yield saving account as well as student loans as well as traveling so those are the things that I view as important paying my student loans off traveling and future apartment so those are like all in my high yield savings account so that is the next step that I am taking on this journey to paying for a very very expensive trip for my 30th as I'm trying to say pinpointing where I'm spending the most money and I know I know for me it's food I cannot help it I have cravings for random things I like eating out and trying new restaurants um, if you haven't checked my Philly's food video make sure I'll put the card somewhere up on the top make sure you check out that video um, it talks about some amazing places to eat in Philly but because there's so many great places to eat in Philly and because there's so many places that I want to try like food is like kind of my thing that I have to watch out for so for me is going to the grocery store more often specifically like a Trader Joe's or Aldi um, because it's less expensive and setting a budget for myself for that because I know that's where I spend most of my money 
eating out and just buying food and DoorDash, Uber Eats, all the things. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is canceling unnecessary prescriptions prescriptions subscriptions canceling unnecessary subscriptions so an example is that I didn't even realize that I still had I still had a premium LinkedIn account that was costing me I don't know how much um, I think I had it free for three months and then afterwards I was like paying however LinkedIn premium is called cost and I was doing that obviously because I was looking for a job but now I've been in my job for like almost uh, six months so I'm not in high need to utilize LinkedIn premium so that's one of the subscriptions that I need to cancel out and I need to like take off my money and my subscriptions next thing we are going to do is we're going to eliminate online shopping so I think just in general if we can one for so many myriad of reasons shop more locally that's better but also when we're shopping online there's hidden fees and service fees and all of those things to get what you need to get to your house so i'm going to be limiting like in real in reality there are some things that are just cheaper online and that is a thing that's the world that we live in but I'm going to be limiting the times that I am swiping or not actually swiping, but figuratively swiping that card online because that can help save as well on this journey. Another thing that I've been doing, and it depends on like how your rent is set up or even if you rent versus buying versus having a home, but I've been putting my rent on credit cards um, obviously paying it but I've been utilizing my credit card more so I can utilize their points so I definitely depleted my travel points when I went um, to Columbia and then Atlanta and then North Carolina so um, I'm definitely building back up my points now and that's one of the reasons why I'm utilizing my um, paying my rent with my credit card so I can get points because the higher amount of money that you spend the more points that you're getting I'm not going out of my way to spend but instead of using my debit card I'm utilizing my credit card to pay for majority of things and then just paying it off with the money that I'm actually making so essentially everything that I was going to pay for already I am gaining and gathering points that I can then use towards my trip you know, in reality, I could get a side hustle and I guess this is like a bonus idea in terms of like ways for us to budget and ways for us to think about like paying for a trip. Like in reality, I could get a side hustle, but like I'm trying to have like YouTube be my side hustle eventually, like, you know, when I'm popping. Also, also bonus is that I can pay this ticket and trip through like a Klarna or a Afterpay or a PayPal where I can do installments instead of paying it all together. Um, that is something that I'm thinking about and considering, but I wanna make sure that I still have all the money for the trip there and then regardless of where I go to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We are going to be taking a journey into the best of ways to plan your trip. And I thought it would be a great time because you're watching in real time of me actually planning a trip. So this is what I am thinking about. This is what I am going through currently. And you can see kind of like the process of what I go through as well as helping you with the process of you going through a trip. Because some trips are like quick and simple. Oh, I'm going to go, you know, to Florida to visit my family. And some trips are like monumentous, like my 30th uh, birthday. Oh my God, I'm turning 30. I want you to take this journey with me and I want you to stay tuned to the next video. The next video, I'll be trying over 10 travel sites to find the best deal possible for my ticket, all right? So you are going to travel along with me as we go through all of the major sites. Um, like I said, over 10, I'm deciding between uh, 11 or 12 um, in total but we're gonna go through this and we're going to see who has the best interface, who has the best um, deals for the places that you wanna go. So stay tuned and make sure you peruse around this channel and thanks for stopping by.